student my name is Mary Kamau today we have our biology lesson form one and our topic of discussion is cell physiology in the topic we're going to discuss cell membrane structure and the properties so we will look at cell membrane structure and the properties of the cell membrane and again we shall also look at division. Briefly, we shall mention something on division. So to start us off, dear student, uh, we have our lesson objectives that I want us to achieve during this lesson. So our lesson objectives are by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to define what a cell is, define the term cell physiology, describe the structure and the properties of a cell membrane, and also define di uh, diffusion and state its examples in life. So those are the objectives that I want us to achieve by the end of our lesson today. So, uh, Lana, I will start with the cell physiology. And before we get into our topic of discussion, I want to uh, take you back to the definition of different branches of biology that were done towards the introduction of biology, where physiology was dis defined as a branch of biology or a sub-branch of biology, which deals with uh, the body functions. So physiology uh, is a sub-branch of biology, uh, which deals with the body functions. Now, these uh, body functions works or uh, functions in the cell or activities that takes place in the body occurs in the cell and therefore we have different uh, living organisms named after the number of cells that are found in their bodies some of them are single celled others are uh, multicellular living organisms based on the number of cells meaning Every living organism must, uh, for it to survive, a cell must be there. And that is why we have our first definition of a term cell. And uh, a cell is the basic structural and functional unit of an organism. A cell is defined as the basic structural and functional unit of an organism meaning no organism can survive without a cell. What about our topic today? Cell physiology. So it is the study of the functions of the cell structures. Cell physiology is the study of the functions of the cell structures. Now, which are these structures that I'm talking about? Structures are organelles that are found within the cell. And uh, for these uh, structures to perform properly or to be efficient in their work, they must take in raw materials. So going back to uh, the cell physiology definition, the study of the functions of the cell structures. So the structures, examples of the structures that I'm talking about are uh, ribosomes, organelles by the name ribosomes. I hope students you can uh, remember those organelles. We have mitochondrion organelles, we have chloroplast organelles, and many other organelles that are found within the cell. 